A fine mist kisses the ground of the Texas hill country like a filter from the spring sun. The folks who live down here know that most mornings start out wet as if nature is silently washing the trees and wildflowers for the day's glorious spring display. We know a man who waits for color this time every year. Rob Kendrick is a photographer whose eye is always searching for the brilliance he can capture in the blink of an eye. I first got into photography when I was 15 years old and just fell in love with it when I saw my first black and white print come out of the developer. After 18 years of uh, shooting professionally, it's still very exciting today to see my pictures published uh, in magazines such as National Geographic and see my byline, Rob Kendrick, appear with those photographs. It's still very much a sense of pride. Rob Kendrick travels the world, telling incredible stories with his camera. Whether photographing in the United States or faraway places such as India, I think there's a common thread between people and their desire to have their story told. I think, you know, there's so many people in the world and so many people are anonymous that when you show a real inherent interest in someone, I think they're ready to invite you into their lives for the most part. When I was in college studying photography as my major, I would go to flea markets and uh, look around and I always collected old photographs just because I you know, was interested in photography but also just always interested in the people in the photographs. And one day I came across uh, a box of old photographs that were on metal plates and I didn't really know what these were. And they were uh, tin types, which were shot uh, between the 1850s and 1880s was the heyday of tin type photography. After collecting tintypes for 18 to 20 years, I decided one day that I wanted my photographs to be on tin. Every time Rob drives over a cattle guard onto one of the great ranches of Texas, he is reaching all the way back to the dawn of photography. His wagon is a modern shell that houses an almost ancient practice of capturing images that looked like they were taken 150 years ago. What I love about the tin type photographs uh, is everyone is you know, handmade. I don't care if you're shooting a picture of a cactus. No two photographs look the same. They're each an original. It's more, more akin to a painting or something. Somebody that has such a simple look that you know that it will translate well into this 19th century look because the images do look 150 years old. And same thing, just uh, leaning up against that wall would be great. The camera, the tripod that I use today, though they are modernly made, they are pretty much made like they would have been made in the 19th century. These lenses I'm using today did in fact take photographs 150 years ago of people. So these lenses are, are seeing things in the 21st century and they also saw things in the 19th century. It'll be about a four second exposure, so just try not to blink. The people almost get into a trance because they're concentrating so hard on keeping their eyes focused on the camera and not blinking that uh, there's a different kind of person that's revealed when they're asked to give this kind of time. Uh, and, and I think that's what's so captivating about a lot of the photographs. Okay. You think you stayed still? I think so. Okay. The evidence is coming up. After the exposure has been made and the plate holder is removed from the camera, I then go back to my trailer take the plate out of the plate holder, I place it in a tray that I pour just a small amount of developer in and I rock the developer quickly, try to sweep the developer smoothly across the entire plate at the same time to get even development. Okay. People ask me 
all the time whether it's worth it to go through these extreme steps, this long drawn out process to make these kind of images. And for me, the uniqueness of each image and the, and the fact that they're one of a kinds, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely worth it, no doubt about it. You're reminded on an hourly basis that what you're doing is, you know, prehistoric. It feels prehistoric or, or at the, you know, the dawn of photography. Oh, if it wasn't for the button-down collar on this uh, shot, you wouldn't be able to tell that it was shot in the modern times. That's what it looks like, too. I've been dead for a hundred years and come back to life. At the end of a long, dusty road through three locked gates, it seems one man has unlocked a magical process from better than 150 years ago. His photographs may grace the pages of some of the most prestigious magazines in the world, but here, between the pages of history, is where Rob Kendrick is most comfortable. When you think about it, it really is a snapshot back in time. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.